what's up youtube it's your boy pg coming at you guys with another interesting video as the title suggests we're going to point out the differences between democrats and republicans thanks to the guys at jubilee for putting out these awesome videos and allowing me to have the chance to react to it so the big difference between democrats and republicans that i've been noticing so far is that democrats tend to get a little bit more violent and radical than republicans it's like Democrats tend to lash out and carry their feelings on their skin when Republicans tend to be held back, you know, chill and stand on their 10 toes on everything that they believe about. So in these videos, I'm going to show you guys how the Democrats run and react to the time is up to get to this chair and how the Republicans run and react to it's time to get to this chair. Let's check this out real quick. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Watch this. Whoa! You know what? Boy, them Democrats was ready, boy. You didn't see how she was ready to jet? Well, let's see if we can catch that back one more time. Hold on. Let me see if I catch it at the perfect timing. Hold on. Thank you so much. Hold Thanks, on. Man. Watch this. Watch this. He about to jet for it. Whoa! You know what? Oh man, hats off to these boys. Hats off to these boys. Now let's check this out from the Republicans. Now let's check this out. Please return to your seats. Watch this. Only one person got so, up. Um, I don't even want to replay that because it's real boring. Like only one person got up. That's embarrassing. I mean, Democrats, you need to get it together. You guys are a little bit too aggressive, all right? This isn't the baseball game. This isn't the world hitting. This isn't the last hitting in the World Series, all right? Like, calm down. The way you diving for chairs out here is like, God damn. Like, whew. Now, we're going to get on to the radicalness. So, like I said before, the Democrats are pretty de aggressive. You know, they're pretty aggressive. They're pretty lashy out there with words and stuff like that, you know? So we're going to check out this young lady, and we're going to see the nasty statements that she's going to make to this very intelligent young man that goes by the name of Charlie, all right? We're going to listen to this real quick. Let's listen to this. It's two weeks F five in utero. Can't get pregnant. Actually, okay. they have, and they have okay. given birth. Five there is, have yes. given pregnant. There I, is I one, corrected. there is I, one recorded case of a okay. five-year-old girl corrected. who gave I, birth. Is that, is that, is that common? Yes, uh, not common. It's common five-year-olds get sometimes, and it's, okay, if I, they get pregnant, I get think they should be able then. to have medical okay. access to something that could save not only just their life, but like their livelihood. How, how many, how many, I'm curious. How I many, hope your daughter lives a very happy life and gets away from you. Okay, so that is really nasty. And so. That was real nasty. Did y'all hear what that little nasty mouth young lady just said? That Oh my God, that is just absurd. That's nasty. Listen to this little nasty there, mouth again. Is, yes. Listen to this little nasty. Right. And she thinks that five-year-olds are getting five pregnant out birth. here. Is, like is they're that, just loony. Yes. Uh, it's common five-year-olds sometimes. And it's, okay, if I, they get pregnant, I think they should be able then. to have medical access to something that could save not only just their life, but like wow. their livelihood. How, how many, how many, I'm curious. Wow. I hope your daughter lives a very happy life I and gets away I hope your daughter. Okay, so. That wow, so this is the this is the the big you know thing that they're out here fighting about is five year olds getting pregnant. That's where we're at now, and wishing that somebody else's daughter gets away from them just because of their beliefs on you know people not aborting their babies. That's kind of wild, man. That's kind of wild. But we're gonna move on. You know, we're not gonna get deep into that rabbit hole. So we're gonna go on and we're gonna check out. You know. Slates were arranged by the state legislature. We're going to check they out were how the by Trump and his criminal Democrats handle this none of the state when they're on the none other of the side. State governors authorized. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to say this before I started playing it. I was just in a rush because this guy, he gets me going. This guy is a human clown. But we're going to see how the Democrat handles it when they got a calm, chill, cool, collectible, respectable Republican to deal with those slates of electors okay and what's wrong with that it's illegal number one and number two what law what law says that 
in, in you have laws that are governing how you're supposed to no, transmit. No, what law? What law? I, I do you want me to give you the specific statutes yeah, in yeah. Georgia, Arizona, New Zealand? I, I don't know them off the top of my head. If you want, you okay, can. Okay, so no, then no, that's no, a no. baseless claim. It's not a baseless claim. <laughs> yeah, Tespro, it is. Tespro you, and Eastman. You can't and provide me a specific law because I can't give you the state statute. Yeah, if you can't give me a specific law, then why should I believe you? There's no justification for that. You have to provide evidence for that. Are you, hold on. To, on the contrary, are you claiming there's no formal process that's codified in, legi in the legislature for how to Happy. send your, tra uh, your transmit your electoral Happy. votes? Do they just do it randomly? No, they of course always. I'm saying, of course there's laws that are involved, but okay. you can't point to the specific law that says that that is. I don't know the numbers. And so your of claim that. is baseless. It's, it's always crazy to see that you guys will carry water. Even Trump's own people don't deny this because they know that they're dead to rights because the emails have leaked, the conversations have leaked, the Twitter posts are there that we Dude, can see from no, no, accounts. No, 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 no. Really, and, what did and, I just and, say that was wrong? What, one thing that I just said that was incorrect. You're getting I can upset three because I'm pressing you on No, I'm not. Point. You're not pressing yeah, yeah, yeah. me at all. Yeah, you're getting you're upset. You're floundering. Dude. Dude. You're like a match. See, he couldn't answer the question. He didn't even have the right state statue. He didn't even know what he was talking about. He just came there with feelings. He didn't have the correct thing to say, and you know, that they really be so hyped up to come to these debates. And they don't really know how to express themselves. They get all flustered in the inside and their feelings get all like tangled up in the nuts. And they just go. <laughs> and then you know, the inner demon comes out. And you know, the Republican just there, just, yeah, yeah, but you didn't answer the question. Can you just answer the simple question, buddy? Can you just recite the rule? Can you just say like the law? Can you just say something that is like right, that like point me in the right direction to prove that I'm wrong? He can't do it. So there you go, you guys. This is the difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. You got one side that just gets radical when you go against, or you just say anything against of what they say. They just ready to fight hands, they're ready to handle fatalities around here, bro. Then you got the other people, you know, you say something to them, they just, you know, come back with a question, you know, towards what you said to see if like you could prove them wrong. And then they're going to come back with another question. And then that's, that's how it goes. Unless you are able to stay calm and weather the storm of a Republican and their calm questions and their straight hard on fisting question. I mean, some of their questions might be like a fist to the gut and then one straight up to the JJ and then another one straight up to the a-hole and then another one that's straight between the eyes. But you got to be able to answer it so they can ask you the next question, all right? All right, got to make a Republican tired. That's all you got to do. And then the debate's over. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this was entertaining the people. You know, we're getting close to election time. I just want to put out a video to get people to enjoy themselves and, you know, take a little break away from the hardcore stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, difference between Republicans, Democrats, I mean, I don't got to say who I'm voting for, you know? I, uh, I'm just a neutral soul around here. I just got to let the air out of my shirt real quick. Let the air out of my shirt real quick. Ugh, okay? So I hope you guys have a great day, great weekend. I hope you have a great election cycle. I hope you guys be safe. Go out there and vote if you want to vote. I vote for Jesus Christ, and that's about it. Deuces.